Perhaps you're patient. I've, I've got back to front now. There we go. So make sure you miss the eyes. Okay. Pop that onto there. Okay, that'll slide on there. Okay. Let like go of that. Then you rotate it around and into the ears, which is actually more difficult than you think. It's easy to be within the um, the oracle of the ear, but very easy to actually miss the actual external artery. Oh, Once it's in the ears, you know it's in there. Okay, then it should be able to rotate up and down. Okay, and then what we're going to do is just make sure we're roughly lined up, slacken off the grey, advance it into the groove on the nose there. A little bit of pressure on there with your finger, tighten it up. If you want to lock it all on, and there's no re real reason for this, you turn the blue one. Okay? If you turn the blue one, you lock it on, and you know, unless you're going to wander off and do something, there's no need to do that. So I normally don't bother with the blue one, let's leave that slack. Okay? That's optional. Then, I'd say at this point, check three things. Just mentally check it's in the ears, check it's on the nose, that means it's on campus plane. And the third thing to check is it's still in the teeth, the patient hasn't let it drop. Is on the teeth, and now all I, ha all I have to do is connect them together. So I would say half tighten up green, then you can half tighten up the black one, which is there. Okay, just keep in mind everything's okay. Yeah, now we'll go for full tightness. Now, this is when it will hurt a patient, so you've got to hold it on here so it doesn't torque and hurt the ears. Just give it some support, and then give it the extra sort of half turn there. And the position of black and yellow will depend on the dynamics of how you put it together. Then at this point, from the upper surface, read off the width of the condos, which is going to be we're just within size 2. Pull back on the grey first and lock it in, otherwise it falls out when you remove it. Okay. Then support it here. If you just open it up, it rubs the skin on the inside of the ears. It's a bit unpleasant. So you're better to support it, get your piece to take the fingers away, and then let it come off the teeth and hinge downwards like that. And then as you open it up, it can go backwards slightly because the external canal actually slopes at a funny angle. So come off the teeth and then gently open it up. Okay. Have a tissue ready because there'll be saliva here. Out of the mouth. And there you are. That's it done. Okay. Then all you do now is you turn upside down. So it doesn't fall out. Okay. Support this video time. Slacken off the black one. Lift this out, you give that to your nurse who will now disinfect the three black bits. So that's ready for your next patient. Remember that stays in your clinic. And then you have got this part here, which goes into your tank of perform, gets labelled, goes off to the technician. So the um, this is the component. You have two of those in the kit, so you can do one for one patient, one for another at any one time. You can buy more if you want to. And that's how it should look. Okay. Um, all it does is relate the upper occlusal surfaces to the hinge axis. Nothing to do with the occlusion itself. This tells you nothing about the lower teeth. We could, we could have done this on Bill if he had no lower teeth, couldn't we? So remember, this only does the upper occlusal plane to the hinge axis. So we need more reference as well, but that's the starting point. Okay. Now I've talked as I've been doing it. This is very quick. I'll easily do this under a minute. It's just you pick it up, put it on, tighten it. It's a routine thing. And you've got to keep on doing it. That's the way to do it. Just do it, do it, do it. And then you'll be familiar with it. All right? So that's that. If you've got a different uh, system, I'm happy to talk to you about uh, how it works. If you've got one, you've got to inherit it in practice. But all work.